Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good morning, Stacey Bullis. Thank you for joining me on the Valder BB Show today. Thank you for having me. Well, you're going to tell us about making lunch boxes for, nine, for picky eaters, so you're going to give us the 911 rescue formula. I am. We have it. So, All right, what do you got? Because they're back to school, and I know they're not eating those lunches. Uh, <laughs> and we have 180 of them in the school year. <laughs> mm -hmm. What can we do? All right, so the first thing you can do, and this is just as much for yourself as it is for your kid, is to get organized. So there are a couple ways to do that. The first is to have a great container. The second to has a, is to have a go-to plan. And the third is to have a pantry packed full of healthy things that you can grab and go and just know are healthy and will be eaten. So snacks, that's a really big one because it's so hard to find snacks that the kids love, that you can also feel good about, that you can pack day in and day out, which is why I love Made in Nature. They make dried fruit and vegetable super snacks that have no refined sugar organic, non-GMO, and a whole bunch of them come in really easy to pack, grab and go, one ounce packets. So that is oh, just good. a go-to, it's so great. And also, you know, if you get these healthy snacks and you have them in your pantry, you can get your picky eater involved. Invite them in, ask them what do they wanna to eat today, let them pick their snack, then they're more likely to eat it. Again, if your pantry's packed full of only healthy stuff, it's a win. Stacey, I want to ask you, I see some parents, my kids are now millennials, but I see now that some parents will have like a, uh, a shelf or a drawer that's for the kids' snacks themselves, and that seems to work out really good. I totally agree. Empower kids. That's how you get them involved. We're trying to raise kids who are healthy, know how to make healthy choices, and have a good relationship with food, and that means giving them some autonomy. Again, that's predicated on making sure that you have good choices to begin with, ones that you feel good about that are healthy. I like that. Okay, what else do you have for us to stretch this school year? All right, so sandwiches. They are a go-to. I know they get boring, but we're going to put a couple of twists on sandwiches because the truth is it's a great easy way to get your protein and your carb in one shot. They're a classic for a reason. So one of my favorite things Dave's Killer Bread makes something called white bread done right. And this eliminates the fighting over white bread. There's no bleached flour, there's no high fructose corn syrup, and there are a ton of whole grains, more than in any other white bread on the market. So again, with a foundation like this, you can put a twist on things, or you can just give them what they want, like peanut butter and jelly. But when you do want to do something a little different, I have a great discovery for you. Have you heard of coconut butter, Valder? Yes, I have. I've heard of, I'm using coconut oil, but I haven't gotten to the coconut butter. Tell us about it. Oh, I love it. So it's that healthy coconut oil, which has those great fats for you, also combined with coconut meat. So it's got real heft and delicious flavor and a natural sweetness. And I've been using this in place of peanut butter sometimes. So I make a coconut butter, banana, and cinnamon sandwich that my boys love. It's a real win. It has no added sugar. Oh, you're making me hungry early this morning. <laughs> it sounds delicious because I know how delicious coconut oil is yeah. in my food. I can't imagine how great the butter is. Got to get some of that. All right, then you got one more for us? I do. Make ahead lunches. This is key. You can either make a dinner that makes great leftovers for lunch or just make the whole lunch ahead of time and have it ready to just throw in the box. So I have a recipe in my book, Make It Easy. It's called Cold Soba Noodle Salad. It's a fun twist on pasta got a real mild flavor, so picky eaters will like it, but more protein and fiber. You cook those soba noodles ahead of time, 
You chop those vegetables up, just peppers, carrots, and cucumber, and then you make an easy vinaigrette, mix it all together, eat it for dinner, serve the leftovers, or mix it together the morning of and pack it up. Stacy Billis is the founder of OneHungryMama.com and the managing editor of CoolMomEats.com. She's a mom and she's an author. What's the title of your book, Stacy? It's called Make It Easy because that's what I want you guys to do. It's available yeah. at your local bookstore and online bookstores as well. I love it. I love it. Is there a place for my audience to go and be inspired by the ideas that you spoke with me about? Well, you know, CoolMomEats.com is a great source. It's your traditional food site, all the favorite things you love about your regular food sites, but with a parent POV and tons of school lunch inspiration. All right. You got to come back mid-year. You got to see how we're all doing. (laughs) Absolutely. I know everybody's inspired by what you told us. Thank you, Stacey. I really appreciate it. And good luck on all the things that you're doing, especially being a mom. Thank you, Valder. Thanks for having me.